Oh, you thought you ate with that comparison, right? You thought you just gobbled that shit up. What is it about Trump supporters that they just love comparing apples to, I don't know, flamingos? Shit like this proves that the only thing Republicans successfully trickle down is stupidity. Literally, right? Because we see this all the time. Some conservative pundit puts out a tweet like this and then it trickles down to all the minions and then they're like, that's brilliant! Until it reaches the bottom, and by the bottom I mean that fool, and makes a video about it. Proudly showing his face. Had George Floyd lived, right, if he wasn't murdered by a police officer, if he ran for president, I, I wouldn't vote for him, right? You see, Donald Trump committed crimes, right, and then went through the process. He was indicted by a grand jury, and then his lawyers helped to pick the jury in something called a jury selection process. And then during the trial, there was evidence presented and then the jury, you know, gave their verdict. For George Floyd, you see, apparently he was committing a crime at the time and he didn't get the privilege of going through trial for his crime because he was executed on the scene for having a counterfeit $20 bill. He didn't get that chance to go to trial like Donald Trump did. And that's why people were angry. You, you see how they're not the same? No, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't like click. And the other kind of videos that I saw on the trickle down of stupidity uh, chain, and I didn't know if it was satire at first, are Trump supporters saying, well, we, we heard the guilty verdict and did you see us burn down buildings and, you know, trash cities and, you know, no, we didn't do that. We accepted the results and then we raised money for them. Were y'all broke on January 6th? Because you guys didn't raise money then. No, no. Do I have to remind you what happened that day? You didn't accept those results. You know, at this point, I've, I've come to the conclusion and I have to come to this conclusion, right? Because if not, I'll go fucking insane. This just all has to be satire because, because I cannot continue living peacefully knowing that stupid people like this exist. I just can't. I have to disassociate and create my own reality for my own sake because you people are driving me fucking insane comparing george floyd to donald Trump. bye